In this tutorial, we are going to make a quiz that has picture buttons as part of the answers. Go to Projects and start a new project. Include your name if you're using a shared account. I'm going to call this Quiz Picture Button. Remember, you can't have any spaces in your project names. Start by including a question on the screen. For this, you should use a text box. The text box should include text for the question. I'm going to use a shapes quiz, so I'm going to ask which shape has three sides. You can adjust the font size. I'm using 24. And change the width to fill parent to stretch across the screen. Always remember to rename your components to something sensible. Instead of text box one, I'm going to rename this to text box question. We're now ready to include some buttons with images on them. If I place buttons on here, I'm going to rename that to button triangle. And button square. Button circle. Button hexagon. Notice all buttons will stack above each other. It will be useful if we also put the text for the buttons onto each button so we know what it's for. Button triangle should say triangle. Button square should say square. Button circle should say circle and button hexagon should say hexagon. We want these buttons to be in a block. To do this we need to use layout. The low user interface we have layout clicking the heading will show that we can have a horizontal arrangement, a table, or a vertical arrangement. I'm going to use a table arrangement. So we will drag this onto the screen. And it is set to be two columns wide and two rows, which means there are four spaces available. Set the width to fill parent so that it stretches across the screen. I'm now going to place the buttons inside this table arrangement. At the moment, we have words on these text buttons. We're going to upload some pictures so they can be visual buttons instead. I'll start with triangle and click on image, which at the moment says none. 
I can upload a file, choose from the files available, and I have previously saved. some examples. This is button triangle, so I should choose a triangle picture. When I say OK, it will then upload and make that available. Obviously this button is very large at the moment, so I need to come down to width and height, and instead of automatic, I'm going to set them to something sensible. I'm going to use 150 and 150, which will let two buttons sit beside each other across the width of the screen. I should then repeat for all the other buttons. I need to upload square by going to image and changing none to an upload and choosing my square button. And again, I need to set the height and width to a sensible choice. You can see that by using 150, both buttons fill most of the screen. Repeat for circle. Again, adjust the height and width. And finally, same process for hexagon. To complete my app's user interface, I need to add a box to give the results in when someone makes a choice. I go back to user interface, I'm going to add a label, and the label will be renamed to label result. At the moment it says text for label 1. I'm going to change that in text to say, choose your answer. And increase the font size. And set the width to fill parent so that it stretches across the screen. The text is left aligned at the moment. I'm going to change this to center so that it's in the middle of the, the label box here. Now that I've laid out the image, I need to add some code to make this app work. I click on the blocks button and build some code for each button. The question is, which shape has three sides? So button triangle, when I click button triangle, should tell me that I got the answer right. Label result, I need to set label result text to Correct triangle has three sides. All other buttons should have an answer which tells me I got it wrong. I can build these individually. For example, button square. When button square is clicked, go to label result, set label result text to Wrong, a square has four sides. 
or I can duplicate the block and make changes to speed things up. If I right click, I can choose duplicate. This red warning says we've got two handlers with the same name, button square click and button square click, but I can change this to button circle click and then change the message. For example, wrong A circle has only one line. Similarly, I can duplicate. I need to change because these are now the same. I'm going to change this one to hexagon and say wrong. Hexagon has six sides. When all my code is complete, I go to Connect and Emulator. I may have to reset connection first. And it may take a minute or two for the emulator to appear. Finally, my app should appear on the phone screen and I can test it by using the buttons. So which shape has three sides? I think it's a hexagon. And my message has appeared at the bottom of the screen. When I choose the correct answer, it then tells me I have got it right. We can make some improvements to this app. At the moment, it is possible for the user to make changes to the question. For example, which shape has seven sides? We don't have an answer to this question. So one thing we should do is to go back to our application, click on designer and make sure that text box question is not enabled. By unticking enabled we stop people being able to make changes to it. Another improvement we can make when we get the right answer we can make that obvious by using green for go. So when button triangle is clicked, we can go to label result and set the background color to, and we can pick a color from here, such as green. Any wrong answers we can duplicate here. Square is wrong, so we will set that to orange. Similarly, we can duplicate again. And for circle, we've set to orange. And again, for hexagon, we have set to orange. So now, when we have a look at the phone, if we choose a wrong answer, we get a warning colour. When we choose a right answer, we're rewarded with green.